All right. Well, welcome, welcome back to Dunkirk, Dunkirk Dunes. Um, so here we are, U.S. Turn two, and to just if you didn't see what what Moffat Field did, so for Japan, he went ahead and uh, attacked um, the U.K. and ANZAC, and that is actually an unprovoked attack against U.K and ANZAC. And so what that allows the U.S. to do is to go ahead and declare war on whoever they want. And that's exactly what uh, we're going to do. The U.S. is declaring war on Japan and on Germany and on Italy. So here we go. Now it's it's getting real. Um, so here's what uh, U.S. is going to purchase. So of course, I have the same 52 I've always had, so I'm going to spend uh, four on tech here. I'm going to spend 28 on two fighters and a destroyer, uh, another three on an infantry, and then another 16 on a transport uh, armor and one more infantry, and then I'm going to have one to carry over. So I'm spending 51 of the 52. And since I have it out here, I'll just go ahead and show China. They have 15 to spend. They're going to buy, of course, uh, five infantry. So as far as moves, and technically we're supposed to do the U.S. first before China, um, the U.S. does not actually have any attacks. Um, we're going to go ahead and do a bunch of uh, non-combat movements, though. And I guess I might as well start over here. So, because the U.S. is now at war with uh, Germany and Italy, um, what we're going to do is take the tactical bomber and the fighter that are there on... Uh, that carrier in 101, and we're going to go 1 into 89, 2 into 90, 3 into 91, and then 4, going to land in Gibraltar. So, same with the fighter. So we're going to put those two, two planes there in Gibraltar. Um, so that takes care of that movement. The other movement that we're going to do is we're going to take these uh, three mechs that are here in central U.S. and I'm just going to drive them over to western U.S. And I think that takes care of everything over on the eastern side. So those are now going to be in western U.S. Um, other non-combat movements, so this transport here in C-Zone 10 is going to pick up an infantry and a mech, and leaving from a naval base, it can go 1 into 9, 2 into 14, 3 into 25, which is just off the coast of Midway there, and he's going to land those guys in Midway. Okay, um, other moves, so this fighter on Wake Island is going to go 1 into 31, 2 into 25, 3, land on Midway. Uh, this destroyer, which is in Sea Zone 23, is going to go 1 into 33, and 2 into 46. He's going to be hanging out there. Um, yep. Okay, other moves. So these two fighters that are in Hawaii itself, um, they're going to take off. So 1 into 26, 2 into 30, 3 into 49, 
54 into 54, and they left from an air base, so the 5 into Queensland. So both of those are coming down to Queensland. Okay, and that takes care of that one. And then the air transport um, that is also in Hawaii is going to pick up two infantry. And again, I'm just using I'm using greens to mark air transports rather than using them for threes. So he's going to take the two infantry in one into twenty six, two into thirty, three into forty nine. 4 into 46, 5 into 45, 6 into 35, and 7, because he left from an airbase, he will be landing in Philippines. And of course, bringing these two infantry with him. Okay. I think that takes care of that. And then the other move the rest of the fleet here that's in C zone 26. So I've got uh, a battleship, a loaded carrier that's got attack and a fighter on it. I've got uh, two cruisers, two destroyers, one submarine, and one transport. Um, so the transport's going to go ahead and load the guy and the artillery. And they're going to head out, um, leaving from a naval base. They're going to go 1 into 25, 2 into 16, and 3 up into 6A. That's where they're going to end up, is in 6A. Okay. And they are not going to unload. Um, the, the, uh, infantry and the artillery are still on that transport there. So, I think that is basically it for U.S. Um, maybe I'll just go ahead and, and recap U.S. and then we'll do China. I guess I could go ahead and place my units. So, these, the... Infantry, the armor, and the transport are going to go be built in this western U.S. factory. And the factories now are actually upgraded to majors. So I've got plenty of capacity here. And this, this does, you know, I, I have placed 2 plus on the western side, and I'm going to place 2 plus on the eastern side to get me my bonus. So on the eastern side, yeah, we're going to go ahead and build uh, one infantry there in eastern U.S. And then these two fighters are going to get built right on the carrier. My understanding is they can do that. They'd be built right on the carrier. And then the destroyer is also going to get built into C-Zone 101. So that's all my placements. Uh, let me just go ahead and recap here. So U.S. has a fighter and a tactical bomber in Gibraltar. Has in C-Zone 101 three transports, one destroyer, one cruiser, one aircraft carrier with two fighters on board. Eastern U.S. has two infantry, two anti-aircraft guns, one artillery. Central U.S. has uh, one infantry, one artillery, and one armor. And going over to the other side here, maybe we'll just stop here in Philippines. So Philippines, we have four infantry, one fighter, one air transport. C-Zone 46, we've got a destroyer. C-Zone 54, we've got a submarine. In Queensland, we have two U.S. fighters, 
along with a bunch of Anzac stuff. Uh, midway, we've got a fighter uh, and infantry and a mechanized infantry. C zone 25. We've got a transport there. Um, Hawaii. I've got one infantry. I'm thinking about redoing something here real quick. I'll, let me. I'll finish the recap and then I'll think about doing it. Um, so C zone 10. I've got uh, one transport and Western U.S. There's one infantry, three mechanized infantry, one armor, and two anti-aircraft guns. I'm just wondering if I want to leave one of these warships that I put in 6A. By the way, 6A, I guess I need to recap that. There's uh, one battleship, one aircraft carrier with a fighter and a tactical bomber, uh, two cruisers, two destroyers, one submarine, and one transport with an infantry and an artillery on board. Um, I just wanted to make sure that my transport here can't be hit. Um, he does have a bomber in Japan. That would be one, two, three, four, five. He actually could hit that, and so what I'm thinking is rather than moving the entire fleet to 6A, I think and I'm gonna leave behind maybe just one destroyer. We'll leave here um, just to give him a little bit of protection. I guess the alternative is you know what? Instead of doing that, if it's okay with you guys, I'm going to leave the destroyer in 6A. And instead of putting the destroyer, this, this destroyer was in 23. Instead of bringing him down to 46, um, if it's okay with you guys, I would like to bring him up to 25. So just to kind of update the recap, so there is no, dis no U.S. destroyer in 46, there is a U.S. destroyer and a transport in 25, and Sea Zone 6A, there are two destroyers, there are two cruisers, one submarine, one battleship, and one aircraft carrier uh, with a transport and loaded with a uh, artillery and an infantry. So hopefully that's clear enough. <laughs> I know we've all made our, our share of uh, kind of goof-ups. So, um, anyway, I, I think that's it for U.S. Now, let's go ahead and, and do China. Um, so, China, as I mentioned, they're buying five infantry. And China is going to make one attack. And we'll see how this goes. I don't know that I'll win this. If I roll well, maybe I'll win it. But what I'm hoping to do is put a dent in these Japanese ground forces in Quichau. And so I'm going to move. Uh, one infantry was in Shenxi. He's coming down to Quichau. And everybody in Sichuan is coming in to Quichau, including the fighter here. So what I've got coming in there is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight infantry, one cavalry and one fighter against six Japanese infantry and two Japanese artillery. And so that's the only China battle. Um, we'll see how this goes. I mean, this, depending on how the, how the first round of rolls goes, I think this could be interesting. So I have then, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight ones, I believe. If I counted that right, let me just count again here. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, there's eight ones and a two and a three. So I've got here that's six ones. Let me add. Okay, let's just make sure we've got the right. 
dice here. So that's eight ones and a two and a three. The black is the three, the, sorry, the blacks are ones. The blue is the three, the green is the two. So let's go ahead and see what we can get. Okay, so what we've got there is two hits, okay? So we've got two hits for the Chinese and the Japanese are defending with, I believe, eight at two because they have two artillery and six infantry. Oh boy, <laughs> that was a good roll. For the Japanese. That's four hits for the Japanese. So I'm going to lose four of mine. They're going to lose two of theirs. Okay. Um, let me just go ahead and pull those off. So I'm losing four. Japanese are losing two. Okay, and for now, I think I'm going to go ahead and press that attack. Let's hope for better this time. Okay, so I've got then four ones, one, two, one, three. Oh my, nothing, nothing. Okay, and the Japanese now have six at two. Two more. Okay, um, so I'm going to lose two more of mine. Uh, the question is, when do I, when do I, when do I retreat? Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and do one more round on this. Let's see what happens. Okay. Gosh, nothing. <laughs> That's not good. Okay, six again. Hoping for not many for Japan. They got one. Okay, they got one. So Chinese are gonna lose another. I think at this point I, I need to retreat. That did not go as well as I'd hoped. I was hoping for some better rolling early on and it didn't work out. Um, so I can go ahead and retreat, and I think what I'm going to do is retreat my ground units into, uh, do I want to go into Sichuan, or do I want to go, I think what I'll do is maybe, Either way, they can hit me. Um, I think I'm going to retreat into Shenxi. Even though that's a little iffy. And the fighter, one, two, three, he can land back here in... Yeah, you know what? I'm not sure if I want to retreat there or not. Yeah, I think I'm still going to go ahead and do that. I think that's still probably my best, my best option. Um, ah, gosh, I was hoping for, I was hoping for better there in Quichau. I was hoping to, to narrow that down some. So I'm going to place my five new units. Um, actually, do I want to place them there or do I want to place them? I might just, I might place them back here safer. I'm thinking I might do that. Although, what's the difference? Why should I put them in Shenxi? Why not Sichuan? They're going to die anyway, probably. Um, yeah, I think I'll leave them in. And no, actually... I'm going to bring them down here. 
I think I am going to put them in Szechuan because they could retreat to either place. So, all right. So I think that uh, that does it. Um, so China recap. I've got an infantry and a cavalry in Sichuan, and I've got five infantry and my fighter in Singhai. And I think that is going to do it. Um, thanks for watching. And I guess now we are on to UK.